Now as I'm leading, and I am leading you, Invisible Me is going to always keep you focused. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. And we confirmed, and it's important that you understand, confirmation was already foreseen by invisible me, and it's not happenstance, it was placed in your path. What I am always doing revolves around and circulates in the spiritual realm. One of the reasons why is there are spirits in the people that watch these videos. I acknowledge and am aware because of what has built many people's faith has been based on there is another spiritual entity that hinders my progress towards reconciling with my spouse. Everybody agrees. It's called the great and terrible day of the Lord for a reason, beloveds. <clears throat> but there are instances in the gospel, invisible me, who is me, is giving me in the flesh, because invisible me, knew this day would come, otherwise known as fulfilling the messianic prophecies revolving around Ben David. <clears throat> When you're looking at what we've learned in the last two years, and many, me and Mary, we've never spent a Christmas together. My Christmases are usually prayer-filled and encouraging, directing my sheep. Many of you have been just with me, invisible me, and you've already suffered the persecution from your immediate, immediate, immediate earthly family, like the scripture says, a man's enemies will be members of his own household. I have come not to bring peace, but a sword. A mother will be against her daughter. <clears throat> That's for someone specific. I understand your circumstance. And remember, Invisible me, me is the most rejected ever. So I, I understand. This is going to be quite a different holiday. Revolve around entering my rest and then your spouse truly valuing and appreciating you as I do. So many have come to the conclusion, Lord, I really messed this up. I would be a liar if I said I do not agree with you. <clears throat> but in this <clears throat> new and knows so your steps that I'm leading you to take are first giving you the understanding of there is an existence. There is a invisible realm outside of the natural. And first you need to recognize What scriptures have been fulfilled? It's all detailed in these videos. Were you taken into the air? There is a new breed of 
not only Christian, but humanity on the earth as we speak. Birth from me, who is invisible me and us who made man in our image. So <clears throat> when you're reflecting in your talks and I'll be in your midst, keeping it simple. And you keep it simple enough to say, okay, this is what our God says we are focused on. This has to do with the other previous video as well. Remnant. Invisible me told me in the flesh, who is invisible me, pull it back. <clears throat> when you are looking at your kingdom marriage as this pioneering new type of marriage, Remembering this is God's design and how God loves you and only wants you to not miss out on what you prayed for, and what you stored up in heaven as your treasure. Not the type where moth can eat and rust can eat away at them. <clears throat> but you truly stored up your treasures in heaven and you know it. And you understanding, I hear his voice, that's him. <clears throat> the scripture says that my sheep would. And you've suffered persecution from those that called themselves Christians. And you suffered rejection from the church. And you suffered rejection from your friends, your family your spouse. Part of your financial breakthrough, as people call it, wealth transfer, however you're looking at it, there is still two primary motives people have when they allow me to use them to bless you. The understanding they will be blessed and also the understanding the exact opposite can occur. So <clears throat> at this point, like Solomon, where wisdom, and we confirmed that in the previous video in the scripture, and we discussed godly wisdom, Riches would be added, so they believe you. That had to do with you need to always remember who made that possible and why. <clears throat> According to my riches is what scripture says. So... <clears throat> 
me being with you the last couple Christmases, and this one is going to be you're getting it all at once. When you are entertaining the opposite of your kingdom spouse, it will be prevalent that your kingdom spouse is the real one. When you have already taken that time to take the steps that equal the thought process that you have, I messed this up. <clears throat> you also need to understand your kingdom spouse hears from me frequently. Taken into the air with me. And it's not a new, profound experience that they are just opening their eyes to. They were not a part of the second death. They remained in Christ. They were not swept away. They were not part of well, it's happened in waves. My um, eldest were not part of the great delusion that I sent to the world and, of course, the church. You see that as everything in their life is a certain way. Like, because of my obedience, me and Mary aren't going to fight over the TV. So <laughs> it's an indication of we will talk. We will drink. We will have a talk. It's already been set up for us to have nothing else to be able to do. Someone say, wow. My obedience is what equaled my reconciliation. the most important part of your life to the full. You are thriving. Your spouse is going to be happier serving you, as I stated. That cannot be accomplished if you are constantly bickering and separating. Whatever it taught you, because there's different levels of Christian maturity in each kingdom spouse. Some already know I need to watch my words. Me, I would put a big sign on the wall saying, Mary, listen to your husband. Wherever I'm strengthening you, <clears throat> it's not coming from a place of, I haven't given you confirmation. Is there parchment that says, Jesus said to them, my wife? In these videos, do I constantly say, my wife? Does that sound like it would be opening statements to a parable? Is there some type of theory that was pushed by invisible me revolving around Jesus and Mary may have been more than Lord and Apostle? Is there scripture talking about my consort? So when you are understanding how biblical the kingdom of heaven actually remains and always will be, you have a reason to believe not only what I am saying, but what my prophets are saying, and then my kingdom marriages. I always have known my prophets would be the shepherds I appointed over you. So I've wanted you to, in your separation, in your reconciliations, be able to say, that is what the prophet said. That is what happened. That's a true prophet. There's other words circulating right now to the modern church where I am really having a serious, this is what I am doing in the modern church now. And it's not pleasant. 
So <clears throat> you having the understanding that your ministry is going to begin in your kingdom marriage. That is my new church. You understanding this new thing is as everlasting as it has been written and was written before somebody said I existed. There you go. Now, <clears throat> you looking at that as if there is only Invisible me is telling me to redirect. And you understanding the reason I've caused people to pause a lot of times is I'm well aware there's a lying spirit. I'm well aware there's a counterfeit Holy Spirit. I'm well aware there's the spirit of the Antichrist. I'm fully experienced in it. So have my kingdom marriages. So you having a kingdom spouse that exemplifies, exemplifies, the exemplifies <clears throat> perfection as far as they have been made from a perfect love that casts out all fear but love is perfected in them because it's not perfected if it fears punishment and you understanding no, I said, forgive. So you are looking at it more in the realm of eternity. It doesn't matter as much because it's the only way my joy will be complete. And it's the only marriage God is going to bless. And you've seen my work and my hand. Make sure that I am faithful and true. The amount of faith one of you have may be less than the amount of faith the other has, but that is your faith to grab onto. All of these experiences are going to equate to your testimony. And you are seeking first my kingdom. So you already know the other part of that scripture is always going to come true. Rejoice. I do. With you. <clears throat> so you've learned not to separate. There's your first heavenly reasons to not separate you have experienced what happened when you separated many of you have experienced different supernatural um, occurrences when you two come together life seems to change things seem to happen what i'm ordering is some rest and relaxation for just you two because only you two and invisible me that was in your midst really know about your marriage. I love you. <laughs>